so we have another grocery haul for you today and this time it's um, more of our regular kind of uh, produce so we had a voucher for this uh, store we don't usually go there but since we had a $50 voucher so we decided to go shopping there we would usually get the fresh produce at our fresh produce market which has a uh, um, larger variety of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and the quality and the price is also better but like I said since we had the voucher why not so let me show you what we got so first uh, from the fridge I got these uh, vegan sausages and this is a veggie mincemeat so I tend to limit buying these because uh, for one thing they're a little bit pricey and also they are not that healthy so we tend to not eat them all that often but sometimes for convenience they help so I like to keep them in the fridge also I got a tub of uh, margarine so this brand does a vegan variety so that's the one I use so over to the fresh produce I got some uh, potatoes so I just got four this time because uh, I already have a few that were left from uh, the previous uh, grocery shopping and also before we used to buy big bags of uh, potatoes but what would happen is that they would start to sprout before we would have a chance to eat them so I don't want to have them go to waste and um, we make uh, so many different types of dishes with uh, potatoes and we actually have a uh, potato wedges a recipe on the channel it's a tandoori spiced one so a lot of people have tried it and have liked it so if you haven't uh, tried it yet then you can check out the recipe and let us know if you've liked it then I got these uh, sweet corn and I'm hoping uh, to be able to grill them and do like a small barbecue for Kevin and I. So um, if uh, the barbecue doesn't happen then probably I'll steam them because uh, I don't think I'll be putting the oven on at this time because it's uh, too hot at the moment. So let's hope we can do the barbecue. So next I got some um, spinach. So these will uh, probably go in uh, salads or maybe just saute with some pasta or something and I also like to use them in uh, pancakes I have a savory pancake recipe on the channel so if you haven't tried that yet you can check out the recipe it works really great in, in those and I got a an eggplant or aubergine so I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this one this week but I do have a recipe with the eggplant actually two recipes a burger recipe and I also have a dal recipe so you can check out these uh, recipes uh, if you want to um, try them so usually when we buy uh, vegetables um, for the week we don't always uh, have a plan what we are going to be doing with them we just get a few stuff and then I make up the meals uh, from there. I got half a loaf of uh, rye bread, that's the pumpernickel rye bread. I usually make uh, my own uh, bread at home but sometimes for convenience I get a store bought one. And I was actually looking for spelt bread but they didn't have any. So I like this one too, so I got one of these. And um, that's um, rooibos tea, which is a red tea. It's one that I really like. So it's one that you would have like without milk, just like a herbal infusion. And I don't always find them in uh, many stores in Canada. And sometimes I get them online, but I saw them uh, over there. So I got a box. Then uh, I got some... Uh, chocolate so dark chocolate and extra dark so these one they are vegan from the ingredients 
so everybody needs a little chocolate from time to time. This is two kilos of uh, brown rice, organic brown rice, and I usually find uh, organic brown rice to be quite expensive, but uh, this one was a good price, so I got a pack. And then uh, we got some uh, snacks. So these are vegetable sticks that we've already opened and we've been eating them on the way home. So they're just uh, potatoes and uh, spinach, tomato, turmeric, broccoli, carrot and uh, red beet. So this one and then I also got some uh, plantain uh, snacks. So that's a very nice one. I really like this one. Also, we got some uh, lemonade and we've already drank the whole bottle on the way home. <laughs> I got to this uh, watermelon, which is in season at the moment, and it's one of my favorite fruits. Then um, some uh, dates. So it's the first time I'm getting this one. I usually get the medjool one or the Lino, but um, I get the dried uh, dried dates. So these ones, they look like they are moist. So it's the first time I'm going to try them. I use dates in um, smoothies to sweeten them or in cookies and uh, cakes as a natural sweetener. So we use that regularly. Also some uh, fig, dried fig. So these I'm just gonna have them as a snack so they are good. Next are bananas which you probably have seen in almost all of our grocery hauls so we buy them to eat them fresh but I also like to let them uh, ripen and I make banana pie with them which is a typical Mauritian dessert and it's also our favorite for both Kevin and I. In fact, it's the very first uh, recipe that I posted on the channel. You can check out the recipe and um, you might want to try it because it's a very easy one and it's also very delicious. And um, I got a big pack of uh, apples. So these ones are uh, Cortland apples that are grown in uh, Canada. So. I like to use them in mostly in baking and cooking and Kevin likes to eat them. I'm not a great apple eating fan but uh, I do use them in, um, in cooking and I make my own uh, apple sauce so I just uh, blend them to make apple sauce and use in cakes. I got some uh, grapes this time so we don't always get the same uh, fruits when we go to the store. So depending on what's on sale or what we want to eat for the week. So we vary the fruits that we get every for every grocery shopping that we go. These are Sharon fruit or persimmon. So I think this, this variety is the Fuyu variety and you can eat it when it's still firm. But there's another variety which is the Hachiya one. And this one you have to wait until it's a very ripe and very soft. So I have a video where I've talked more about this uh, fruit and I've given a few, um, a few tips and the um, health benefits of this fruit. So you can check this out. Also, I got uh, these uh, avocados. So this will go in salads or smoothies or sometimes I just like to slice them in half and uh, I have them with some maple syrup and some paprika so they make a good uh, snack and also sometimes for breakfast so finally I got these uh, beautiful sunflowers that you can see at the back here when I saw them in the store I couldn't resist uh, buying them and they were not that expensive either so sunflowers remind me so much of uh, my mom. They are her favorite uh, flowers. But also every time I buy flowers, um, I think of a friend of mine whom I have known uh, in uh, England while I was uh, living there. 
So one day we were in a store and I was looking at some uh, flowers and they were white lilies which are my favourite and then I was telling her these flowers look so gorgeous and I want to buy them but then I'm thinking maybe I should be spending my money on something that's uh, more of a necessity rather than on flowers and then she goes but why? Like flowers make you so happy when they're in the room and you're looking at them, you feel so happy. So that got me thinking like uh, sometimes I'm spending money on things that I may not really need and if I can spend uh, that money on something that actually do that actually does make me happy then I think that's uh, worth it. So I did get the flowers uh, on that day. So now every time I buy flowers, I think of her. So I uh, leave you on that note and uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, grocery haul. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll see you soon for another video. Bye!